Hello everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing the first five problems of the 2022 grade six mathematics state exam for New York State. So let's get into it. For the first problem, it says, which value of M makes the inequality true? So it says three M minus four is less than 11. So for this, you need to treat this inequality like a equation. So you have to add four to both sides to cancel out the four. You get three M is less than 15. And then you divide both sides by three to get M is less than five, but this is not where we end. Next, you have to look at all the answer choices and see which number is less than five. So for A, it says four. Four is less than five, so A is a possible answer choice. For B, it says five. Five is equal to five, it's not less than five, so B is not the correct answer. For C, it says six. Six is greater than five, so C is not a correct answer. And for D, it says seven. Seven is greater than five, so D is not a correct answer either, which leaves us with A. Moving on to the next problem. So it basically says, a farmer places beehives containing bees in her orchard to pollinate the plants. The table below shows the ratio of the number of beehives to the number of acres in the orchard. If the, bee, if the bees pollinate the plants at a constant rate, how many acres will be pollinated by the bees in 18 beehives? So this is a ratio problem. The original ratio was three to eight, the number of beehives to the number of acres, beehives to acres. And every single ratio after this is equal to three to eight because it's increasing at a constant rate. The bees pollinate the acres at a constant rate. So 18 over X is equal to three over eight. So for this, you could just do cross multiplication. You would get three X equals 144. And then you could divide both sides by three and then you would get x equal 48. So 48 acres will be pollinated by the bees in 18 beehives. Moving on to the next problem. So for three, it says the net of a rectangular prism is shown below. The net is basically the layout. Um, for those of you that don't know. What is the surface area in square centimeters of the rectangular prism? So basically surface area is the added up areas of all of the faces of the shape. This shows all the faces. Each rectangle shows one face. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six different faces and you need to find the area of all of them. So let's start out with this eight times whatever this is well the side length of this is equal to the side length of this because these are two equal rectangles if you think about how the shape would be formed these two rectangles would be the same like height so eight times three is 24 and you also get 24 down here since these are two equal rectangles. Now for these two, these two are also equal by the way. It's three centimeters wide and five centimeters tall. Three times five is 15. So both are 15. Now you have these two rectangles. This rectangle rectangle these two rectangles are eight centimeters wide and five centimeters tall which is 40 40 and 40 so to find the surface area just add up all of these so you get 24 
plus 24, plus 15, plus 15, plus 40, plus 40. And then you would get, well, 4 plus 4, that's 8. 8 plus 5, that's equal to 13. 13 plus 5 equals 18. You put an 8 down here. You put a 1 up here. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. And 11 plus 4 equals 15. So the surface area in square centimeters of the rectangular prism is 158, which is answer choice C. Okay, so for question four, it says Jake takes guitar lessons that cost $120 a month. Which equation could be used to determine the total number of dollars, D, that Jake pays for lessons for any number of months, M? So D, which is the cost, we have to find out what represents D. D equals 120 times M, because this is the cost per month. And M represents the total number of months. So M represents the number of months. And that would give you the total. And this equation is in answer choice A. So A is the correct answer for question four. Moving on to the next problem. For question five, it says, Claire has six large envelopes and 11 small envelopes. What is the ratio of large envelopes to the total number of envelopes? So a ratio could be expressed as a fraction or it could be expressed as blank to blank. So we're using a colon today. So Claire has six large envelopes and 11 small envelopes. So what is the ratio of large envelopes to the total number of envelopes? So we have to find large envelopes to total number. How many large envelopes are there? There are six large envelopes and there are seven envelope. I mean, there are 17 envelopes in all because six plus 11 is 17. So six to 17 is the ratio. And that is answer choice C. So C is the correct answer for question five. Okay, everyone, that is all for today. I hope you found my content useful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I will see you in the next one. Bye.